There's no doubt that it's an exciting time for Wentworth Woodhouse, especially for young people like us. One of the biggest aspects of the house's contemporary history is its use as a prime filming location for many major and independent productions, with the likes of Netflix, HBO and the BBC choosing to use Wentworth Woodhouse for a varied range of productions. There's an awful lot of planning and preparation that goes into making this filming happen too. Often 12 to 24 months of complex negotiation and logistical planning takes place before any crew even arrive on site. Wentworth Woodhouse is often just one location amongst multiple others during a production shoot, which means the team have to be responsive to last minute changes. The filming location team has to work closely with all other departments to make sure the film crew can be accommodated around the other commitments and ongoing regeneration of Wentworth Woodhouse. And once the crew arrive on site, the hard work's done and it's all over to the film crew to create the magic that you see on screen. When these productions arrive, the house is transformed into bustling working sets. Trucks, trailers and vans line the front lawn, thousands of pieces of kit line the hallways, miles of cables run throughout the house and hundreds of cast and crew members work together to make sure that production runs smoothly. As someone who's had the exciting opportunity to work as a locations marshal on these sets, it's fascinating to see the behind the scenes of how what we see on the screen is put together and the vast amount of work that takes place to make these productions happen. So, what films and TV shows have been made here then? Well, the Marble Saloon played host to the first Downton Abbey movie as a grand ballroom. You can see how the historic marble floor was protected with a cushioned floor covering and printed with the same design as the marble underneath, but also to look like an inlaid wooden dance floor. The Marble Saloon also featured in The Crown as a banqueting hall within the Kremlin on the Queen's state visit to Russia in 1994. In addition, the Whistle Jacket Room was used as a bedroom for the Queen and Prince Philip. Various locations throughout the house and grounds were used in Gentleman Jack including the Whistle Jacket Room, which was transformed into a cafe in the Louvre, and the entrance to the stables doubled up as the gates of Paris. One of the biggest production challenges was when Netflix built a set within a set in Fives Court for the Irregulars, doubling it as a street in Victorian London. When Netflix first saw the site, the floor of the courtyard was covered in 20th century tarmac. They offered to remove this to discover if any of the original cobbles remained underneath, as they wanted an authentic floor covering for the set. Luckily for us, the cobbles were still present. They also built a viaduct and a metal bridge for the shoot, as well as facing existing buildings with new frontages. Wentworth Woodhouse was also doubled as some famous locations in various other productions, including ITV's Victoria, where Chapel Corridor became part of the Houses of Parliament. Victoria also used the Lord Drawing Room as the interior of Number 10 Downing Street, and in the film Mr Turner, Wentworth Woodhouse stood in for the Royal Academy in London. For the film The Darkest Hour, the Whistle Jacket Room, where we are now, was used as the interior of Buckingham Palace. Scenes were also filmed on the portico, which was used as the palace balcony where the King and Churchill looked over water on London. Some of the props and set dressings used in these productions you can see for yourself in the house, including these curtains, which Netflix hung for the crown when the room was used as a bedroom in the Kremlin for the Queen and Prince Philip. These chairs were also used by Netflix and featured in the Kremlin banquet scene, which was filmed in the Marble Saloon. In the BBC production, Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell, the chapel was used as the interior of the House of Commons, and this room, the low drawing room, was used as a principal set and is featured in the promotional image for the series. The bookcases that you can see here were also left over from Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell. They look like they've always been here, but the BBC set department made them all out of MDF. They also painted the room in the colours you can see today. Originally, the room was painted in an off-white colour. Whilst it's exciting to hear about all the productions that have been made here, what I'm wondering is, why do productions choose to use Wentworth Woodhouse as a filming location? Well, Wentworth Woodhouse has a lot to offer as a filming location. It's a huge venue with multiple sites to choose from that feature a variety of periods of architectural styles inside and out. We also have a large and beautiful garden which contains several historic structures. Much of the house that our regular visitors can see looks very grand, but there are also a lot of dilapidated and derelict areas too, which means that productions can film multiple scenes in one shoot location. So production companies might choose Wentworth Woodhouse as a location for many reasons. The fact that the house is empty for the most part means they don't have to work around priceless paintings and furniture or empty out any rooms before they start work. They can bring exactly what they need to dress each room as required, saving productions of what a precious time and money. Plus, with all that space, there's plenty of room for their unit base and all the cast, crew and kit. And of course, they get a warm Yorkshire welcome. 
That makes a lot of sense. And it means that they can take locations they want to use and dress them to recreate an authentic historical setting or use the historic setting to create new and different worlds. Exactly. And don't forget that these productions take lots of time, effort, work and passion from a large team to put together. Rai, didn't you mention that you worked as a locations marshal? What was that like? Yeah, I did. And for someone who wants to work in the film industry, it was one of the best experiences I've had, especially as a way to gain insight into how the great filming machine is run. The locations department is usually the last thing people consider on a film set, but just like the efforts of the rest of the crew, without the location team, film shoots simply couldn't happen. Aside from making sure the crew has the best working conditions possible, the goal is to make sure they're respecting the location they're in, especially in historical important places like this one. I got to see the entire production from the initial setup, where the crew come in and build up the unit base and get the set ready, through the shooting days when the cast come in and shoot the film, right through to the final strike, when the film set and unit base is deconstructed and moved on to the next filming location. The last film that I worked on here had over 300 cast and crew members working together as a single team. The job meant that I got to see and be a part of the day-to-day -day running of a film set and unit base and I was helping out other departments too. It's a hard graft and the hours are long, but every member of crew on a film shoot works tirelessly to make the magic happen. And it's Wentworth Woodhouse that has given me the opportunity to experience the behind the scenes world of film and TV production. So as you can see, Wentworth Woodhouse is featured as a prime location in an exciting range of big film and TV productions of the years, and the future is looking even more exciting too. And just like the experience I had on these big filming sets, it's providing exciting opportunities for young people like us in the area to experience film productions ourselves. Wentworth Woodhouse is the digital partner for the 2025 Rotherham Children's Capital Culture Celebrations. Me and Rai were part of the first group of trainee creative producers in 2022, where we were inspired to create a 25 minute short film called Four of a Kind, which you can watch over on the official Wentworth Woodhouse YouTube channel. And earlier this year, I was one of the 2023 trainee creative producers, and we created an interactive murder mystery event called Scene of the Crime, which had many film scenes and a storyline that centered on the film industry. With the newly formed Wentworth Woodhouse Filmmaking Club also bringing in fellow film lovers and creators together to make short films on a monthly basis, Wentworth Woodhouse is fast becoming a staple location in the world of film production, not just as a location for major big budget productions, but for independent and local film too. It's not just Wentworth Woodhouse that benefits either. The arrival of a large film crew and cast is great news for local businesses too, especially those in hotel, hospitality and catering sectors. Every week, Wentworth Woodhouse receives inquiries about using the site as a film and TV location, and there are some incredible opportunities that will hopefully be secured over the coming years. It's an important part of our business model and helps us towards our strategic goal of using Wentworth Woodhouse as a catalyst for positive change across South Yorkshire. So I'm sure you can agree that there's an exciting creative future ahead for all here at Wentworth Woodhouse, whether it's for young people like us, the community both here at Wentworth Woodhouse and the wider local area, all the many big studio and smaller independent productions that are or have been filmed here. You can't deny that the magic of Wentworth Woodhouse is offering something that we should all look forward to.